Yo, what's going on everyone? <laughs> Charlie checking in right here for you. Twice in one day, guys. Saturday. <laughs> Happy Saturday to all you guys. Um just hanging out. Ooh, this table is still a little sticky actually. <laughs> Supposed to have been cleaning up or whatever. And um cleaned up a little bit, but not so much, man. Just got done uh, uh after I got done puking my guts out, guys. Adam Woodring, what's up, brother? Talked with you on fa uh, Messenger a minute ago. Thank you for all the love and support. Leanne Brown, it's my sister right there, little Leanne, right there. I hopefully you're having a great night. And, um, yeah, I'm just hanging out, guys. I felt a little triggered. I got, I had, I had uh, heard, gotten um, some, some kind of bad news I'll share with you guys whenever we get a little bit in here. But, um, Kind of got me a little triggered, man. You know, like I say, you know, it's this the, this whole family situation thing right now. Everybody just going at each other's throats and everybody being pushed apart and stuff like that. It's really, it's really sad, man. And you know, that's what, kind of things are what triggered me. So I figured I'd come on, uh, come back on here tonight and say what was going on. See what was going on with you guys. I figured I uh, tried to watch some TV. I played a little bit of Skyrim. Rebecca, what's up? Tried playing a little Skyrim, you know, and. Um, God, man, I've been playing Skyrim so damn much, man. Sean, what's up, brother? Zach Gray, what's going on with you tonight? Uh, yeah, just been playing Skyrim so damn much. My friend Kristen, Mwah, I sent you a message, Kristen. So, um, yeah, read it. But uh, <laughs> Eric is at work, Leanne. But, you know, um, uh, I, so I put it on The Office. I started watching a couple of... The Office is actually on it starting. It's episode one, season one right now. Thomas, what's going on, brother? And uh, I was watching it for a minute. And I'm just like, Tom D'Angelo, what's up? And I was just like, man, I just cannot watch this. I'm just sitting here thinking about the whole situation and stuff. Uh, jo Joseph, what's going on with you, brother? Manya, Miss Manya Garbagian, all crazy. Uh, Manya Garbedian. I, I got to say, it's like obedient, but Garbedian. Yeah, okay. Says, um, all crazy, they are just terribly immature, you know, and you know, it, it is sad, you know, and hey, Holly, what's going on with you tonight, thank you for joining us, and um, yeah, it is kind of sad, man, so I pretty much found out, like I told you the other night, you know, that I heard that Michael had, you know, had let mom's car get repossessed and stuff like that, and then to come to find out, you know, mom's not even staying there anymore, <laughs> you know, and um, and it's sad, you know. I won't, I won't, I won't get into the whole, the whole what happened, guys. You know what I mean? I will just say, you know, putting putting family members, you know, in, in such a volatile and, and um, such a toxic situation, you know, just for views, you know, you pretty he pretty much, you know, sits there and and exploits, you know, the family's uh, uh, mental illnesses, moms and Jennifer's or whatever, and. Um, I mean, these, these things are, you know, are real, you know, and, um, and it's sad, you know, that, <laughs> you know, that people can't just live, you know, in a positive bubble, you know, with family, you know, around there, around him anyway, you know, um, but I will say that it is good that, you know, that mom is out of that environment, you know, I mean, he's still trying to make it seem like she's still a part of that environment, I guess he doesn't want to tell you guys yet, or, <laughs> yeah, because he's, cause he's going, got the whole thing going on with Doug now. Steve, what's going on, brother? You know, um, he, 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 well, he well can't just sit there and just throw out two family members to the wolves at once. <laughs> you know, it's really going to make him look so bad, you know. And, and it's sad, man. It really is, you know. But like I say, it, it is for the best, honestly. You know, mom, mom has issues and stuff that she needs to take care of, and she doesn't need... You know, Michael exploiting those issues for video and stuff like that. So I'm really, you know, honestly happy that that she's no longer involved with that, you know. Um, hopefully Michael doesn't try to drag her back into it because of this or whatever, you know. I really don't think he will through everything that went down or whatever. Um, uh, maybe I really feel like he honestly, he understands that he failed her, you know what I mean? And... Uh, uh, hopefully he's rectifying that situation um, while mom um, gets back on her feet, you know, with family that is going to be there to support her and stuff like that. And I just wanted to say, mom, you know, I was wondering why she was uh, trying to send me messages and stuff like that, you know. 
Um, because when she was staying with Michael, there was no, you're not allowed to talk to Charlie. You know what I mean? If I, if I'm paying for you and I'm taking care of you in this family, you're not allowed to talk to Charlie. And, um, so, I mean, I wasn't hearing anything from mom and, uh, until I moved to Alabama or whatever. And then Dawn started getting messages, you know, from people in the family, you know, mom's side of the family, you know, saying that she was concerned for me. And, uh. Even then, I still didn't know, you know, I was just like, uh, you know, oh my goodness, mom potentially wants to talk to me, how is this, hopefully, you know, Michael doesn't get catch wind of this, because, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll kick mom out or something like that, you know, tatted up Fox, what's going on with your brother, and um, apparently the case was, mom was already gone, <laughs> you know, sad, um, but needed, you know what I'm saying, like I say, it's needed, it's a very toxic, volatile situation, um, you know, and, you know, it wasn't, uh, Ruby, it wasn't all to support a, bull, a cyber bully, Doug's thing, I believe, was to support a cyber bully, mom's thing was a little something different, you know, and it was real, and Michael chose not to tell you guys about it, you know, he decided to uh, sweep it under the rug or whatever, you know, until possibly, maybe he can use it in his own benefit or whatever, you know, um, and it's a shame. No, nope, you go play. <laughs> you can't come up here right now. It's a shame. And, um, you know me, I'm going to be here to, to, to say something about it. You know, damn it, Charlie. We can't get rid of Charlie. We can't shut him up. You know, I mean, you can shut me up, Michael, you know, but just by just doing the right thing. You know, that's all you got to do. Just do the right thing or whatever, bro. And and then we wouldn't even have anything to really talk about. I wouldn't have anything to be upset about and potentially triggered about. Because when I did hear this about mom, I was like, mm. when I heard about her getting her car repossessed, I was like, damn, you know. But then when I heard about her just not even being, it hadn't been there for a while, you know, uh, I was like, oh, you know, man, what is actually going on? You know, I heard, you know, um... Rumors and stuff. Um, I got I caught wind of a little bit of it from our friend, um, our friend Morticia, Tish, right there to you. Um, but then once I started contacting family to actually figure out what's going on, you know, I was kind of surprised. You know, really honestly surprised. Um, and the whole family is, you know. Everybody that is not involved with this whole YouTube thing, you know, they're just sitting back like, damn, man, I can't really believe it, you know. And there's not too much that they can say because other family members have been harassed as well, you know what I mean? And kind of like forced in, in uh, uh, you know, into, you know, uh, showing public support for Michael and the family, you know, um, so that they don't get targeted and stuff, you know, behind the scenes. <laughs> it's really, really crazy, guys. But we are talking. We are, you know, just, um, just, you know, just kind of shocked and, and ashamed in the way that things have happened. You know what I mean? Francisco Raphael, what's up, brother? Thank you so much. Kristen Hale says family is more important than any amount of money. And, you know, it, it is true. I mean, it is true. As you guys saw, we had a really kind of a thick... A uh, 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 thick-skinned family dynamic where we we were we were broken around each other, but we were broken together. You know what I mean? And um, we didn't know what the hell money was. So family, at the end of the day, was really all that we had. You know, and we held on to that for a long time. You know, until the money kind of kind of started rolling in, and um, now you see where it is today. Like I say, it doesn't just change you; it changes people around you. You know what I mean? It changes. Those that, that, that uh, you know, you have, you know, in, in your bubble and stuff. And those that feel that they can get something out of it. And, uh, yeah, Mattia, you know, like I say, I, I choose to err uh, a little bit on the side of vagueness, you know. Um, I don't want to expose too much. I don't want to say too much, you know, except that, um, you know, basically it feels like Michael pretty much kind of used mom kind of damn put her in a room, you know what I mean, kind of poked and prodded and put the camera on her and got what he wanted, um, and then whenever it got too deep to handle, he just kind of threw her away, you know what I mean, and um, threw her to the wolves, and uh, um, and I'm just waiting for him to come out and say, okay, yeah, mom did this, my mom did that, you know, uh, pretty much trying to discredit her and just, you know, uh, um, make her look like crap, uh, the same as he's done with me, the same as he's done with Doug, the same that he's done with Jennifer, you know, 
and Don. Uh, the list just, just goes on and on, you know. Um, but I figured I'd go ahead and say something because, you know, just to show you guys that it's just not Doug going through this right now, you know. It's not just me that has been going through this right now. You know what I mean? It's just it's not just a lot of you that have been going through it right now because a lot of you guys get targeted and um, and harassed and stuff as well, you know, for being supporters of us, um, of whoever you want to be, you know, supportive of, and. Um, and it's sad, you know, people, there have been a couple people that are like, Charlie, just let the drama go, let's talk about something else or whatever. But I feel like I would be doing a disservice to those that rely on me and those that I love, you know, and those that need somebody with a, a big enough voice that I, like that, like I have, you know, to be, to be able to step forward and say, hey, you know what I mean? This is wrong. This is what's going on, guys. And, and, and I, for one, do not approve and I, and I will not stand by it. And I will, I will not stand by quietly neither. You know, um, especially, you know, when it comes to, you know, family, honestly, it's just, I just, I just won't do it guys, but I figured out a way to kind of, you know, you know, approach it, um, maturely and level headedly, you know, and, um, I, and it works, you know, here I am right now, um, letting you guys know how I feel about situations that's going on, bringing a few things to life to you guys. And and, uh, and I'm not getting mad about it, you know. I I, I, didn't, I had to run to the bottle. Um, I'm not on fit, Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, nah, 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 you know, uh, I'm not doing a video here, uh, uh, cursing and being disparaging and and, and 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 saying things that 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 I can't take back, you know. Um, I'm, you know, I feel, I feel like I'm, you know, expressing myself properly, and a lot of you guys, you know, if you were in my position, I would hope that you guys would, you know, would do the same thing, you know, for those that you love, and for your own mother, you know, um, and like I said, I just wish, I just wish the best for her, um, I know, and I know it's got to be rough for her right now where she is, no vehicle, you know how hard it is for anybody to find work, uh, you know, to, 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 um, you know, move on and continue to build their life, you know, without a vehicle, um, without that proper support system, uh, you know, that we thought that she had, you know, that we thought that the boys had, because it's sad now, like, like, I guess, you know, Jennifer still doesn't have, you know, custody of the boys and stuff, and who knows if she was still, you know, legally around them or whatever, you know, and I thought that that's why Michael kind of brought um, mom back in after they phased Lauren out, you know, for her obvious problems. Um, so they brought, I thought they brought mom in to help out with the boys and stuff. And, uh, here they are again, uh, just with nobody, you know, with, you know, Jennifer who has obvious issues. It seems like she's trying to, uh, to get her stuff together. You know, I've seen something about her going back to school or whatever. And we hope and pray that that happens because, uh, you know, she really needs to get those boys back. You know, she has, she has stepped forward and, and, and voiced her displeasure with, uh, with Isaac and everything that's been going on, you know. Um, and she was promptly uh, met with, uh, with anger and, and aggression and, and lies. You know, at first, uh, you know, our friend, um, I don't know if you guys have heard it or not, but uh, our friend uh, Morticia actually recorded a phone conversation with her and Jenny, you know, where... Um, Jenny flat out told her, you know, that, you know, that Michael and Isaac, you know, they don't see eye to eye and stuff, you know, and that Michael, you know, told her that he would lose everything, but that he would have her back over Isaac should they would decide to go public with uh, uh, their, you know, if she decided to go, go public and say, hey, you know, I don't like you, Isaac, which she did. And then it got, you know, Michael just turned around and totally just threw her under the bus twice now, you know. And there's really nothing that she can honestly do about it, guys, because, you know, like, Michael's got custody of the boys, you know? Um, and at any moment, he can just say, you got to go, and then just start smashing and dumping on her, like, like they did while she was still living under their roof. Um, it's 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 got to be, um, you know, scary. It's got to be, you know, constantly nerve-wracking and just depressing, you know, to live under... Under, under somebody's roof, you know, that just kind of holds you down, you know, by the thumb. I was there, guys. You see, I got out of it. The minute that I got out of it, it got turned around and flipped around on me. And, um, and you know, the same thing is happening to, to Jennifer. Same thing happened to Mom, you know. Um, same thing happened to Doug, <laughs> you know. And, 
It's really crazy, just like, uh, you know, two years ago, whenever this all first started with me and everything, you know, uh, it was just me that was getting it, you know? It was just me, so it was still easy for them to stand behind the whole, uh, you know, family first aspect. Uh, uh, and, then, and, and it seemed credible, you know, to all you guys. But just over these past couple of months, this last year, just the, the things have just fallen in place. You know, for us to just really look like a fractured, splintered, you know, dysfunctional family uh, that we are, <laughs> you know. And um, I'm sorry that all you guys got to see this. You know, I, I really do. Uh, I really do uh, apologize because um, it never had to be like this. You know, uh, it, uh, things could have been handled so much differently on so many aspects, you know, so many facets. Um and, and 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 instead, uh, you know, uh, Michael just wants to continue. Michael and Bridget want to continue to just throw everybody under the bus uh, to 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 save themselves. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I'm just I'm just not gonna stand by quietly and let it happen. You know, uh, I don't care if me and Doug weren't getting along at one point. I don't care if me and Jennifer getting all along at one point. You know, I don't care which, when it when it does probably happen, whenever, you know, the funds and stuff start to dry up, and then Isaac sees Michael as his, you know, his retirement fund, his 401k, his last big thing, you know, before he has to go figure out what else to do. Um, you know, uh, I'll be there for Michael, too. I'll be there to stand behind him, no matter, ev no matter what he's taken from me and how hard he has made my life. You know what I mean? At, at the end of the day, um, I'll be there for him, you know? Because at the end of the day, when it all comes down to it, when he comes to me, he's going to come to me contrite. He's going to come to me, uh, you know, with the knowledge that he completely messed everything up, you know. That the one person that had the power and the ability, you know, to shore everything up, you know, and create um, this wonderful uh, grandpa universe that dad would, would be proud of today, you know, or would be proud of, you know, um... Uh, Instead, he just, uh, he let it just get all, just get smashed to shit, you know, in, in order to divide it. It's what, it's what he went ahead and did. It's what he was pretty much, I believe, he was forced to do. He took the grandpa following and he just, just kind of, just, just kind of sectioned it off. He's like, okay, you get this, you get this, and I got all this, you know. <clears throat> and, uh, and he's, he's steadily continuing to try to, to quadrant off, <clears throat> um, you know, each kind of fan base, you know, and he's trying to take it all and uh for him and and for his uh for his for his um his I, I would say friend, but you know he's they're not friends, you know. Isaac is is pretty much blackmailing and, and extorting Michael into uh just playing ball and doing exactly what Isaac wants. And you know, you don't call that friend, you know. That is somebody that's ruling through fear rather than friendship. And uh and he knows it, you know, and like I said, that's what's happening with the family. You know, nobody in the family really loves Michael anymore. You know, but you know, because we're all we're all so afraid of him. Well, I'm not afraid. I don't care. I've done been through it all. But they're all so afraid of what Michael's Michael can potentially do to them. You know that that, that they act like you know like they care and and uh, and, uh, and you can see it. You know, but whenever he's not around, man, let you you know rest assured, Michael, that I mean we are talking about you, bro. And, uh, you know, we are not happy with where the family is going. You know, you are not the only one, you know, uh, uh, that makes this, you know, that makes this family. You know, we have a whole other side as well. And a couple of other sides, you know, and everybody is just is seeing it and everybody's disgusted in it. And um, it's something that you're not going to run away from, honestly. You know, you can you can go ahead and influence uh, the online, the online universe. Uh, your section anyway, because we all still got our sections, and every day you're losing, you know, more and more, you know, from your cheering section. Uh, case in point, you know, he brought he brought Tina back into the videos, and I mean these videos are making 170, 180 thousand views, two or three days old, <laughs> you know, um, and it's got to scare them. And I think that maybe that's partly why they decided to go after Doug. They realized that. You know, nothing that they're doing is working, that they really needed something big. <coughs> and um, and so they go after Doug, you know what I mean? And they show all these doctored uh, screenshots and stuff. And um, 
and just we, you know, just weaving, weaving this web of bull crap. You know, like, like I say, they're just throwing everything at the wall and see what can stick. Um, and they're trying to keep the whole grandma thing quiet in the process because if, if, uh, if they got to come out and talk about, you know, what happened with grandma, why he forced grandma out again, then that's just going to say, you know, it's going to, it's going to shed the light on, okay, well, grandma, Doug, you know, Charlie, who else, you know, who else, Michael, how many more people, you know? And that's the question that I want to go ahead and raise. I want to raise that question in every single one of you guys' minds, you know? I want to go ahead and actually let you know what's going on and uh, let you voice, you know, your opinions for yourselves. Take what I have told you and, and, and you know, make up your own minds and, and ask some questions. Kick up some rocks, man. You know, dig up some dirt. Ask questions. For yourself, I don't gotta, you know, I, I'm just sitting here presenting the facts to you all, and then uh, I'm inviting you all to to um, see for yourself. And uh, I mean, I will have certain things to back up these claims. I already do, <laughs> you know, but I just don't want to uh, go out and um, spread too much about the family business, you know, except for the fact that you know Michael did, you know, he alienated her, and and and. and uh, uh, abandon her, you know, so it's sad, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not uncommon, you know, this isn't the first time it's happened, and, uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> all we can do is just hope and pray, and I thought about it, I was like, I was like, because if I come out here and I tell these guys about this, um, does that mean that if Michael's still helping mom in any way, does that mean he's going to just go ahead and cut off her funding and stuff like that? And because he already let her car get taken, you know. So I mean, what how, what else is mama living in and mom going through right now? Uh, because Michael just you know he just refused to stop helping her. He went ahead and used as much as he could of her, made her look as crazy as he could, and then just. Bye. And didn't even, you know, give you guys or, or or mom the respect to be able to, you know, talk to you guys and let you guys kind of know what's going on or whatever. And um, and it's sickening. It's pathetic and it's wrong. And it's not how you treat your parents. It's really not, you know. Like I said, that's why, you know, Michael's sister and says that he has all this unreleased footage of grandpa and stuff. And then when he does upload a video, um, it's like two minutes of grandpa and the rest is, you know, Michael's voiceover and just sad moonlighting music to make everybody feel for him. And, uh, you know, the sad reality of it is like the whole last year that I was there, um, the whole last year that I was there, you know, Michael would come over and he'd uh, spend 10 minutes, do the video and then he'd be gone, you know. To the point where dad kind of stopped cooking Sunday dinners and, and, uh, cause you know, my, knowing that Michael wouldn't stay. And, um, and I said, Michael's got to regret that, you know, it shows, you know, damn, in the videos that he claims that he has a dad and stuff and he can't share them with you guys because, um, he, he, he doesn't have enough to, 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 to give you guys. He has to stretch it out into a vlog style. A video that pretty much, you know, uh, <clears throat> glorifies himself and there makes everybody say, oh, poor Michael, um, when the fact of the matter was, uh, you know, Michael was fine. Michael's been fine. Michael's had his, his big house, you know, <laughs> security system, security guards, you know what I mean? He was paying these people like $2,000 a week to sit in front of his house. And they'd ride by dad's. This was after dad's house got egged by Tina and her friends, you know. Michael called security to sit in front of his house. <laughs> and then just ride by dad's house and stuff. And, you know, just, just living so frivolous while dad ultimately, you know, died in a trailer. You know, with the roof caving in, with rats living, you know. He had, he had rats and stuff, man. And, uh... Knowing that that's not what dad wanted. Remember, Michael went ahead and did a video. This was the house we were going to get, dad, but he didn't want it. He didn't want to live in a big house. And they rolled up on this big, beautiful, white, semi-mansion looking thing, man. Just amazing, you know. And then trying to make, trying to sell us this bullcrap line that dad didn't want it. You know what I mean? When it was completely the opposite. You know, Michael, you stole dad's money and you let him die in a trailer, bro. And... You're doing the same thing with everybody. You're using all the rest of the family as much as you can um, for, you know, just to go ahead and line your wallet, you know. You know that it's it's coming to an end and um, 
It almost seems like uh, he doesn't care. He knows it's coming to an end. <laughs> Next couple of years, pfft, you know, uh, it's not going to be a quarter of what it is now. And so he's just going to go ahead. He doesn't care how he looks. It's almost that. It's almost that mad, mad dash for cash right now, and uh, doesn't give a damn how he looks in the process. Um, and uh, and it's catching up with him. It's actually catching up with him. And. Uh, I wish I can say that uh, he, you know, he didn't, he doesn't deserve it. But I mean, honestly, man, you deserve everything you get, brother. Honestly, dude. Um, period. You know. And I just, I just pray for mom. All you guys, pray for mom. Um, hope the best for her. Like I say, I really do hope that I didn't, I, I didn't. Um, cause any trouble, you know, by, by bringing this out, because, you know, Michael can be very petty and very vindictive. Hopefully, it'll it'll turn the opposite around. Hopefully, next thing you know, Michael will start showing mom in more videos to be like, oh, Charlie's lying, you know, and maybe he'll bring mom back to the trailer or something like that. Maybe he'll do something good to try and maybe make me look embarrassed or something like that, as opposed to um, punishing mom for me actually coming out and telling the truth, you know? Tyke, what's up, Tyke? Oh, yeah, I said mom's not living at the house anymore. Um, Mike drove her crazy. And she's living with family to help her kind of heal mentally. You know, she's you know she's away from that drama pile. And um, um, she's healing with family, you know. And, I, and, I, and I'm wishing her the best. I want all you guys to wish her the best. Um... Because she did not deserve that. Whenever I heard that mom was coming back into the picture, I was like, hell yeah, that is so cool. <clears throat> and apparently she had already been living at the house for a few weeks or whatever before they even, you know, introduced her back into the into the videos and stuff. <clears throat> but I was just so happy. I was like, man, this is cool, you know. Maybe it'll, this will change. The boys will have, you know, some structure. They'll have somebody to watch them and that loves them because they love grandma and grandma loved them. Um... And maybe it'll 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 bring mom into a new light as opposed to the whole fire thing that you know Michael exposed on her back before he uh, kicked her off to New York ten years ago, <clears throat> and he didn't do it, you know. Instead instead of you know trying to reconnect with his mother, you know, and and um, trying to show you know growth and change, um, uh, he you know he decided to just make her look crazier, you know. And uh, he decided to just continue to just push her buttons and uh, um, create content off of, you know, her mental illness. Um, which shouldn't surprise me because like, apparently that's what he's done to dad as well. You know, I, I don't know if, I guess I never knew that dad was, you know, bipolar and that he took medication and stuff like that, you know. But um, apparently if you guys remember, you know, whenever... Whenever they had the interview with the Charleston newspaper, the Free Times, the Charleston newspaper, this is back whenever Dad had a hundred thousand subscribers or something. You know, Michael went ahead and admitted to you know the interviewer that um, um, that he you know that he's he hid Dad's medicine, that he would hide Dad's bipolar medicine and then record Dad flipping out. You know, so um, I wouldn't honestly be surprised if he didn't do that with Mom. If, uh, if he didn't hide her medication and stuff from her, or maybe try talked her into not taking her medication, slipping her a few dollars, paying her car payment and stuff like that, uh, so he could try to get the best content out of her that he could. And then whenever it all blew up in his face, he quietly got rid of her. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what happened, guys. And, um, you know, it's a damn shame that, uh, um, that he, you know, he's that type of person. Honestly, dude, <laughs> it's tragic. It's rotten. Says Flavio. Says Charlie. When they took the se uh, sepsis out of your brother's mouth, did they take out the bread's brain cells too? Well, you know, like I don't know, man. Honestly, more dollars, less cents. You know, the the higher his ego uh, grows, you know, the bigger and the the more it expands. Uh, you know, just the more that 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 he shows his true his true colors and his true self, the more he feels that he's uh, he's untouchable and unstoppable. And, um, you know, like I said, that kind of stuff will catch up with you. You know, he is not a, a, a movie star by any means. He's not a celebrity. Uh, you know, Grandpa, four million fans. Uh, I, can t I can ask somebody, I, you know, maybe, maybe one, one person out of 30 
out in the real world uh, knew who dad was. You know what I mean? Um, and so go ahead and take that and divide it in half, you know, and there you have Michael. But he just believes that, uh, that he can do and get away with anything he wants um, just because of a little number uh, uh, beside his name. And because he can, he can dole out a little cash and, um, and keep people quiet, you know? <laughs> and uh, like I said, I'm one person that that's not going to happen to. You know, even, even when I had 100,000 subscribers, I had 110,000, 115,000 subscribers. You know, I was working on going on to 120. You know, I still... You know, when I was upset and stuff, I mean, I still, I still voiced my displeasure. I was, you know, there was a couple months there I was doing four, four grand a month just in uh, advertising, guys. I wasn't doing, I wasn't doing super chats, straight advertisement. Like four months straight, I did four and five grand. You know what I mean? And while I appreciated and I, you know, enjoyed it and I kind of blew the money. You know what I mean? I, um, you know, I did, I did, I didn't let it kind of control. Who I was and, and where my values uh, 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 were based, you know, where where my heart truly stands, um, it wasn't in my wallet, you know. It's always been in my mind, and uh, you know, and all my family and stuff. And I mean, I just, <laughs> I'll, I will say, you know, that um, that I did come out about it the wrong way whenever uh, I was living in the the pool house. Um, you know, I started, I started, you know, drinking and stuff, and and you know me when I drink, I start to talk, you know, and so you know, I really, I mean, I started to bring out some stuff and 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 talk against Michael and stuff while I was living under his roof, you know, um, for one, which is kind of shitty, um, but also, <laughs> you know, uh, um, how do I say it? Uh, uh, you know, knowing that he had me. By the cojones, you know, I still um, can't, you know, I still, you know, said what I had to say, what I felt was on, it was on my mind, it was in my heart, knowing that I was about to lose everything, you know, and then it got overplayed, you know, as you guys noticed, you watched, you seen the video where he, 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 he claims that I, that, uh, you know, I gave my nephew drugs and alcohol and that's why I got kicked out of grandpa's house. Um, but he never did show, uh, as you guys see, he went ahead and he, he turned the phone on and he put it in his pocket and recorded, you know, our conversation that we had together, you know, accusing me of giving, you know, my nephew drugs and alcohol and, um, and whenever it, in the actuality I had passed out and he came in, it's still my fault, I introduced it into the house, but he came in while I was passed out and, and messed around with, with the stuff and got caught and you know of course you know he gave it to me you know so they went ahead and they recorded that and then he sat on it for like six months guys he sat on it and then once I left dad's house and then all that stuff went down that's when he shared it with you guys and said that it just happened like two weeks before I got kicked out of dad's that's why I had to leave but it's funny because like I say he did it with his phone and uh, he never showed anybody the date of when it was recorded the date and the time you know, of when it was recorded, and if he was pressured to do so, you guys would have seen that it was recorded uh, six months before, you know, I was, uh, I was asked to, or I wasn't asked to leave, I left on my own, because me and dad weren't getting along, you know, dad was getting very upset um, that my channel was growing, and that he had no control over his own channel, you know, honest to God, and I, and I felt it, you know, and, 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 um, and so I, you know, I was, I, you know, I chose, I optioned to, to leave, you know, and, um, you know, I think they were afraid that I was going to give out some secrets or something then and there, uh, because as you saw, um, they did really nothing to help me, you know, try to move out of dad's or whatever. Uh, I actually wanted to move on my own, move out, um, somewhere else or whatever. But then Michael was like, no, come stay with me, you know, until we get you where you need to be. And uh, part part of me believes that maybe he was setting me up for a fall. Part of me believes maybe he was just trying to, you know, see where I was going to go. Maybe try and mentor me a little bit. But in the whole process, the only thing he was doing was uh, um, building a case against me. Should I should I fail? You know. 
And then that's what he did with, um, you know, the whole claim about me giving my nephews, you know, drugs and alcohol. And then also with the pool house guys, because, uh, and hitting Bridget, if you guys watch the video again, he says something about, I destroyed the pool house. And then you hear me say, we did that. You know, we did that for video in the micro, you know, he, he cut me off. Oh no, we ain't, you know, this is reality, yada, yada, yada. And, um, yeah, pretty much saying that, you know, there I was, why would I say we did that? It's so genuine. I can just tell to my voice, like, damn. And when I go back and I look at the videos, I see like three or four, you know, Jack, Jack Daniels bottles and stuff. I, you know, before I, uh, 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 the whole part, the half part, half part of the day was a real blur for me, guys, you know. But then after I went after, because they were like, yo, you can go to jail or you can go to the hospital. So I was like, I'll go to the hospital. You know, and uh, so I went to the hospital and was there for like six hours. I was released, sent back home. Uh, so I was I was sober, you know, I was I was foggy. But I mean, I was sober. Like I say, they wouldn't have let me out uh, if I if I if I if I wasn't if they thought that I would hurt myself or somebody else. And I went back to the house just to try to sleep it off. And that's when I supposedly hit Bridget, guys. To the point where I even, uh, you know, I just wanted peace in the valley and I went forward and just I claimed I did it even though I knew I didn't do it. Um, and then last night, Doug pretty much comes out and tells everybody, you know, after Michael shared, you know, the private info between those two, Michael shared it first. But then Doug came out and just confirmed it, you know, that, you know, that I never, that I never hit Bridget. You know, so many people were wondering, why would Doug just sit back and not do anything or, or Michael for that matter? With that ego that he has, why would they just sit back and not do anything, you know, and watch, you know, Charlie hit his daughter, hit his wife or his girlfriend. Uh, and also uh, security cameras. Like I said, after Tuna, you know, uh, Ed Dad's house and Michael had security sitting outside his house. He also had those cameras, you know, had those cameras right there. And yeah, you know, uh, but like I say, I was so messed up and spun out and they... You know, dad was still alive and stuff, and, you know, they were just on fire so much that everybody just believed what they saw and what they heard from them. Um, and it was really bad for me, guys. Oh, my God. It was really bad. Even though I knew that, you know, I didn't do it, um, I shouldered the responsibility for a long time, you know, just hoping that maybe me and Michael would, you know, reconcile, and it just never happened. Tyke Tally says, did Tuna get Grandpa addicted to pain pills? You know, I really do believe that that's the case. Uh, and I didn't believe that that was the case until, you know, Tuna started coming out with all the videos herself of, of you know, uh, text messages and, and voicemails and stuff uh, that she had, you know, giving dad prices and talking about trading this for that and stuff. She was doing, she was posting these videos and sharing these videos to try to make it look like dad was a drug dealer. Uh, when in actuality, you know, from the videos, it, it was pretty much her admitting that she was, you know, selling dad the drugs, you know, um, Tuna is Tina. Tina was, uh, the angry neighbor, was one of dad's friends, but also one of dad's connects and stuff. She was always getting in and that's why you saw, we all know that's why Michael moved dad out of, uh, that trailer park because Michael's already admitted it. Tuna was given, you know, was, was, had dad addicted to dope, you know, and so Michael had to get dad away from it and, and keep Tuna away, you know, but, uh, but as you guys see, and as you guys know, Michael, you know, he will put, he will put all family interest in jeopardy and to the wayside when it comes to, when it comes to money, you know, in the fact that, uh, he's done brought this woman back, Tina, numerous times. Uh, after she's done, admittedly egged the house, admittedly got dad hooked on dope, where Michael has admitted that he knows that she got dad hooked on dope, still kept bringing her back around, even while dad was alive. You know what I mean? To the point where, okay, dad was like, okay, me and Tina were doing videos again. We can sneak around and meet and meet up again and stuff. And that's exactly what it turned into. You know, all because Michael, you know, just needed to just try to bolster the views a little bit. And, um, and it was ridiculous. And it was absolutely ridiculous. And um, that's ultimately what I feel killed dad. You know, those damn pills and like the drinking and stuff like that. Um, dad lived a rough life. And I mean, now, now dad, let me tell you what, man. Like everything, not everything that dad was on and that dad was taking was bad, you know, because like dad was hurt. Dad was in bad shape. You know what I mean? I think dad had cirrhosis. He knew he had cirrhosis longer than he told us. 
I think Dad was getting his pain, getting his pain pills, you know, legitimately uh, to 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 um, heal the pain, you know. And then it just turned into him trading and stuff like that, you know. And uh, and it happens a lot. You see it all the time, you know. Whenever they, uh, it reminded me so much of like Roseanne. Whenever Roseanne, they killed Roseanne off and and just continued with the Connors. Um, uh, you know, they pretty much, you know, Roseanne had an uh, had OD'd or whatever, and Dan found a bottle of pills from another woman or whatever, you know. And apparently, Roseanne and this woman had been swapping pills and stuff. Because, you know, the pharmaceutical game is so expensive, you know, that people sometimes can't afford their prescriptions, so they trade and stuff. And that's kind of what Dad and Tuna were doing, as well as, um, you know, buying and, and, and selling. Because Tuna's all about making a profit. She was all about, you know, scamming. And, um, and uh, you know, I really do believe that she had she got Dad addicted, and I really do believe she played a major part in, you know, Dad not being here with us anymore. You know, so, um, I mean, that's just my honest opinion, you know, that's my honest opinion, and, um, yeah, Sookie Stackley Smith says she destroyed AGP's porch, that's disrespectful, uh, yeah, you know, I think that was another thing that Michael was trying to do to maybe, uh, trigger me, because I don't see, you know, how it makes any sense, you know, where, where Michael would just let this person, uh, pretty much, uh, desecrate, you know, your Graceland, you know, so many of you people, you know, even if it is a, a double wide trailer, even if it is way less than what dad expected, you know what I mean? It was still dad's home and it was still dad's final resting place really, you know? And, uh, a lot of you people, you know, look at that place with such fond, caring memories, you know? And, um, and, uh, you, you hate to see, see it be, you know, taken for granted, you know, for just such cheap uh, pops, you know, and, um, and I gotta say thank you guys for that, because, uh, uh, you know, it shows that you care, it shows that, um, uh, that dad mean, uh, meant a lot more to you guys than just some, you know, some YouTube videos, you know, that, uh, um, that you cared, really, and let me, I need to take a break real quick, I need to plug my phone in, hold on one second, oh god, the deal, so, Anyways, guys, you know, I, I really wanted to get on here tonight while, uh, while, you know, while, while Tubby is, uh, just really attacking Doug and kicking his ass, you know, and while, uh, Michael and Bridget really just let it happen and stuff, you know, um, it doesn't seem like it's working, God, oh, God, I don't seem like I'm working really neither, okay, it doesn't seem like it's working good enough because I've noticed that numerous times Michael's been like, okay, this is it, I'm not saying anything more about it. You know what I mean? And then I, I see four or five, six more things where they're just constantly continuing to try to dig the knife or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> and I really got to commend Doug one more time, you know, for his, 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 uh, his, him playing it cool, as cool as he's playing it right now because they're dropping it hard on him. You know, fake screenshots, uh, uh, conjecture, maybe even some stuff that Doug has done or whatever, you know, where none of us are, 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 uh, are innocent, um, uh, Isaac himself, like I say, you know, he's going through a court case right now. He's still out on bail. He's still got open cases out on him. Uh, he's had pictures of him taken of him sitting his big butt outside the courthouse uh, just two weeks ago. You know, he's got an actual website, IsaacGuest.com. Everybody go take a look where you can actually just see, you know, just the, the, the history of his misdeeds. You know, he's got his record, I mean, just, is, is longer than my arm, you know. And uh, for, for him to sit there and, uh, you know, try to call other people out on their crap, you know, it's just, it's laughable, man. It is it's hilarious. And uh, um, it's not going to work. It really isn't anymore, man. There was a time whenever people were like, you know, this Isaac guy, he seems credible, you know. Uh, I think I might, gonna be I might believe him. He's got, Michael's got his back, and I believe Michael. You know, it's not like that anymore. Uh, you know, they have already established the fact that, the uh, that they will just come out and tell a blatant lie, you know, just because they know that the majority, uh, is just going to go with it. Whether they believe it or not is irrelevant. They're just going to go with it, you know, so that they can ride the, the, uh, the clout train to the very end. And, uh, and that's exactly what's going to happen. And, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and just let you guys continue to make, 
everyone in the family look like horrible people when, in fact, you guys are the ones, you know, that are the puppeteers that are pulling the strings, you know, behind the, the, the biggest piece of crap that we all know uh, to exist um, as your right-hand man, as you call your brother. And uh, as we know, you call him your brother uh, with trepidation in your heart. You know, as we know that you know that this guy is going to roll on over, roll you over as soon as he can. You know, as soon as you are bringing nothing to him anymore, bro, it's going down and you know it. And I can, I can just imagine, you know, living with that kind of dark cloud over my head. You know what I mean? Knowing somebody else has my fate in the palm of their hands. Kind of like how I felt with you before, you know, falsely. Because now I know that my fate is right here in my own hands, you know. That as long as I as long as I don't give you guys what you want, and that's for me to be triggered. Blah, 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 as long as I don't give you guys that, and I speak my speak my side calmly and, and correctly, you know, then you can't you know you can't shut me up, and I'm not wrong, you know. And that's what's gonna happen. So, Nancy Frino asked what happened with his mom. You know, just go ahead and replay this. I will be sharing it to YouTube. Um, and, and letting you guys make your own opinions. There will be people that are going to go ahead and start digging. Right now, they're already digging. What's going on with, what's going on with Tina? What's going on with Grandma? We're going to find out. And it's going to come out. It ain't going to come out from me. All I'm saying is that, you know, once again, I'm just saying that, you know, Michael exploited mom's mental illness. Uh, for a couple of YouTube dollars, and then you refuse to claim responsibility, you know, for her flipping out. Might have took her medicine, hit her medicine. I don't know. We know that he's he's admitted to doing that with dad before, you know. So I mean, it's a it's it's a real crappy situation. Uh, that you know. That mom and Doug don't deserve. That I don't really deserve anymore. You know, I have paid my dues. How many times have I been sentenced? Forgiven? Sentenced and forgiven? You know, I've already paid my dues. So, I mean, I really don't deserve it neither. You know, but, you know, I will go ahead. I will be that martyr. I'll be the punching bag, you know. As long as you can leave, you know, uh, everyone else alone. Because I've been, I've been doing it long enough, I can take it. These people are going to sit there and continue to bully the wrong person until this person commits suicide. Until somebody is uh, 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 no longer on this earth anymore with a family that's missing them. Because these people feel uh, that, they can, that they can play with people's lives. That they can step on people's uh, emotions and stuff because... They've got four because they got two million subscribers because they because they get you know five hundred likes a tweet or whatever that because they feel like their lives are more important than this other person that that doesn't mean anything to them you know and I'm wondering if if then if that'll be a wake up call what if that happens with mom. We all know mom's in a delicate state. We all know mom, you know, has her issues and stuff. For them to sit there and, 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 and exploit her issues and everything and then throw her to the wayside like that and just bury her, you know what I mean? Knowing that she has those issues, I'm going to blame Michael. If mom were to, to do something tragic and she was no longer here on this earth anymore, I would blame Michael 100,000%. Wouldn't you? I mean, just let that sink in for a minute. We know Isaac don't care. We've already heard what Isaac thinks about his mother. We've done sat, we've done sat back and l let him spew for three or four hours about his mother. You know? To the point where his mother was just like, my son's the devil. <laughs> she literally called her son the devil.
And then, so, you know, part of me is like, well, he's worse than Michael, you know. There's, there's a difference, you know, but there is not a difference. After hearing about this, there's no difference between those two guys. There is, there, there is nothing sacred to them other than the all, almighty dollar. You know? And I'm glad that I didn't sell out. I'm glad that I chose my heart and, 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 uh, and my convictions. And I'm glad I chose you all over that dollar, man. I swear to God I am. Because if I didn't, I could be here right I could be I could be here right now on the other side. Putting dumping dirt on Doug with the rest of them. Selling out my, my convictions for a couple quarters. For a little bit of clout. A little bit of internet fame. That's why, I, you know, I am thankful for how rough my road has been. As it has made me the man that I am today. If I just had everything given to me, you know, and I, I did, I'll be the first one to tell you, man, once I, I mean, once I hit 100,000 subscribers, man, I started developing an ego, you know, an ego that brought me down, you know, and just imagine if I didn't have that, if I didn't have that grounding take place two years ago, where would I be today? I could be a bigger piece of crap than any of them. You know, just so full of my own self, you know, that I keep the rest of the world at bay, you know. And like I say, I could be, I could be right here. Probably not. I would probably still be under Michael because he's not going to let anybody get bigger than him, you know. And, um, uh, you know, so I probably would have been still stuck in the, you know, the Jennifer and Kimberly and. You know, Cindy and Doug scenario where, you know, uh, I solely rely on him um, to get by. So I'm just going to agree with everything he says and do whatever he, he tells me to do. Um, Morticia says, do you think this is all for content? I honestly don't think this is all for content. I don't think that um, that they would take it to these extremes. I don't think Doug would let it go to these extremes. You know what I mean? Um uh, they are attacking uh, a woman that, that, that Doug cares a lot about, you know. He cares about Debbie. You know, he should. I hope he does. It's his girlfriend and stuff. And um, they're just dragging her family through the mud. Um, uh, so I don't. I honestly, I, know, I do believe it is for content. I will tell you, I do believe it's for content. But I don't believe that Doug is involved. I don't think that Doug is a... Uh, uh, a, a willing participant in, in, in this, uh, in this uh, uh, rigmarole, a, a, as it were. You know, I think that he's, uh, you know, he, he's an innocent, he's a victim. And um, uh, I believe that, you know, it, it, it's, it's to help out, you know, Michael and Isaac for them to, to get some, uh, to, to get the wheels rolling a little bit. You know what I mean? And, uh, but it's fleeting. It's not going to last long, you know. And I also think maybe that it's also something to kind of point the finger away from mom, maybe or something. I would say that, but apparently mom hasn't been living in my in the house for you know a little minute. Um, but uh, Morticia, you were right about what you told me. You know, she's not there anymore. She's with family and stuff. But you know, but uh, Morticia, you were right about what you told me. You know. She's not there anymore. She's with family and stuff, but you know, you are right, you know. So um Yeah, that's it, it's 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 all it's about. It's for it's for it's for uh content. Uh it's it's uh it's for them to make a little bit of money and they're all they're doing is selling out yet another family member in the process. It's sad. Um and I mean, I would say unforgivable, you know, but I'm always willing to forgive anybody. I'm always willing to give somebody a second chance as long as they show me that they deserve it. Um, Alicia, thank you so much for telling me. Cause like I say, whenever I heard that from you, I went ahead and I got with family and I found out what exactly was really going on. And yeah, 
If I had not known that, they would have just, you know, time would have just continued to, to go on by with it under the rug without them being uh, uh, held accountable for it. You know what I'm telling you? If anything happens to Michael, I mean, Michael, if anything happens to mom from this, I'm blaming you, bro. It's going to be all your fault. And I hope that you can't live with it. You know? So, that's about it, man. That's all I really wanted to say. Get on here and, and just, like, let you guys know what's going on. Show some love and support to Dougie right now. And also just let you guys know that he's not the only one that's going through some things right now. And, uh, and think about it, you know, just how many more family members are going to be ostracized and, um, uh, you know, sold up the river, you know, for a couple dollars. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Get back to watching some trailer park boys. I really like that show guys. I've started on season two now. I've tried watching it before and I didn't understand why. I didn't understand some things about it. It just didn't really click with me like it like it does, did today for some reason. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch that. I am so freaking hot in this damn jacket. <laughs> and yeah, I want you guys to ask questions, man. I, I want you guys to try to figure out for yourself. I want you guys ask Michael. Say, man, what the hell is going on with your mom, man? What would you do with your mom? How's grandma? We're praying for grandma. All you guys do that for me. And uh, I love you all. I don't have subtitles on here. I don't know how to do the subtitles on here or on uh, YouTube. I've asked maybe Erica to look at it or something for me. If y'all know how to maybe do the subtitles. I, I thought I've been putting subtitles on before, but it just won't. I mean, it's just not sticking. So sorry, Leanne. I feel for you, but I keep getting so aggravated. I don't even want to mess with it, you know. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Man, I'm telling you, man, go forward, stir some crap up, ask ask questions, get in the know, feed feed that intelligence. Where is Grandma? What happened to Grandma? Why are you messing with Doug like you did with Charlie and Grandma? Why can't you just leave the family alone and try to and try to make you know some content in a different way? Because we're all fed up with it. So, anyways, love you guys. Stay real, stay truthful, stay open, stay focused, stay positive, stay loving one another. Love you guys. Holla chat tomorrow.